My name is Andrew Barnes, and this is an overview of urban air pollution, looking at its sources and effects, ways to improve air quality, a city with poor air quality, and recent progress in the U.S. To begin, let's start with a basic definition of air pollution, the contamination of the atmosphere by noxious gases and particulates. This definition of air pollution did not specify a source of contamination because it can come from humans as well as nature. In fact, wildfires and volcanoes have been polluting the atmosphere long before humans came around. The Great Smoky Mountains get their name from the pollution released by its trees. The main human source is power generation, which is the leading cause of air pollution and contributes the most to global warming. Transportation and industrial processes also can tribute heavily. Solvents, pesticides, and other aerosols react with other compounds in the air to further augment pollution. Here are some of the most common air pollutants. Nitrogen dioxide and volatile organic compounds are the reactants that form low-level ozone. The ban on leaded gasoline in the U.S. has significantly reduced the amount of lead in the air to 96 percent of the level in 1980. Unfortunately, Leaded fuels are still widely in use in Africa and other developing nations. Fine particulates are one of the major causes of respiratory illness, and the cancerous ozone is another serious health risk. Air pollutants that contribute to global warming are called greenhouse gases and have significantly altered the natural climate cycles of the Earth. Economic impacts include loss of productivity, increased health care costs, and faster deterioration of many building materials. Air pollution in densely populated areas is even more a problem because of the increased demand for modern day conveniences. Increased power consumption as well as frequent traffic all greatly increase the amount of pollution in the air. However, cities can be far more environmentally sustainable than rural areas if they are planned well. Prior to 1978, Linfin was famous for its spring water, greenery, and rich agriculture. But since then, Linfin has become the heart of China's coal industry and considered by many to be the most polluted city in the world. Fortunately, both Linfin and China as a whole have shown small improvements in air quality over the past four years. Since it's nearly impossible to remove air pollutants from ambient air, the best way to reduce air pollution is to prevent it altogether. Most developed nations have national regulations that set air quality standards, and in the U.S., the Clean Air Act sets them. C40 Cities is a network of major world cities that have all pledged to reduce air pollution and increase sustainability. New technologies have been developed to comply with newer air quality standards. Applied at point sources of air pollution, these control devices either destroy pollutants entirely or remove them before exhaust is released. Different methods must be used for different chemical compounds and particulate sizes. The American Lung Association ranks air quality of cities for ozone and particulate matter. This year's report shows that many cities have improving air quality. Still, over half the U.S. population lives in areas subject to dangerous ozone and particulate pollution levels. Overall, the Clean Air Act has improved air quality, but more regulations will be necessary to make the air safer for us and our environment.